Okay, pro wrestling fans, it's a big weekend here. We're at our pre-SummerSlam moment, and I, I spent the better part of this morning catching up on this AEW thing. Uh, we'll start with the AEW. Big highlights for me. This Eddie Kingston click is very exciting. Um, you got the Eddie, Eddie Kingston, and yes, I am a mark for the, the Lucha Brothers. Um, so we got Eddie Kingston, the Lucha Brothers, and uh, the Butcher and the Blade. So I guess this Butcher and the Blade, and uh, who were they? Well, they were buddies with uh, the Lucha Brothers. So now they've added Eddie Kingston as the spokesman. I think it's a good mix. I like this. I think that we could see this new contingency, the Eddie Kingston group, uh, being the new top heel faction with time. If, in fact, uh, the inner circle, it looks like the inner circle could easily turn babyface. I've been claiming that for a while. So we could see the inner circle uh, eventually turn babyface, feuding with the Eddie Kingston click, and uh, that would let kind of leave um, the the whatever the remains of the Omega and Young Bucks group uh, to disperse, to break up, to inner conflict. I, I could definitely see that happening. I think there's a lot of similarities with Eddie Kingston as the spokesman against Chris Jericho as the, the spokesman for his group. Uh, so we could see some nice matches there. Then you'd have, as far as the tag team thing goes, Santana or, and Ortiz against the Lucha Brothers. Uh, and, and then where do you put the Butcher and Blade against uh, Jack Hager and Sammy Guevara? I mean, who knows, but that could happen down the road. We still have this impending AEW Horseman. Looks like that's developing with um, Tully Blanchard managing, I guess they're being called, uh, not the revival, but something else now, the resurrection or uh, whatever the fuck. Um, and what else have we got? Now, other things, we saw Brody Lee basically with a wipeout on Cody. Here's the AEW booking for you folks. They make they make their inner circle guys strong. You know, your, your Cody's, your Young Bucks, and every once in a while, they make them super weak. In, in other words, Young Bucks putting over a private party in the tag team tournament. Um, Cody putting over Brody Lee in a one-sided affair. Every once in a while, they demote themselves in order to seem like they're not always pushing themselves, even though 90% of the time they are. So that's fine. Uh, am I jumping up and down about Brody Lee being the TNT champion? No, not a big deal. Uh, it's fine. Uh, you could make a case for all the AEW haters out there, that of the four singles champions, Moxley, Jericho, uh, Rhodes, and now Brody Lee, all four were former WWE Intercontinental Tag Team Champions, and probably WWE Tag Team Champions as well. Uh, but I'm not sure if Ambrose ever had the tag team title. I can't remember off the top of my head. He. Uh, Rollins and Reigns had the tag team title. I don't know if Moxley ever officially did. In any event, uh, what else did I get from that show? Uh, Ambrose made, or Moxley, made mention of his wife. That might be a little hint hint come hither. Um, this AEW show kind of got overshadowed last night because you had an NXT pay-per-view, you had a, a, a UFC show. I did watch the MMA show, UFC, fight night. Two fights were canceled. I really have no comment on it. I was watching, but not paying too much attention, to be honest with you. Uh, I was doing other things. The Mike Messier YouTube channel, a uh, great big interview is coming up with a, uh, an actor that you're all familiar with, a uh, household face, a household voice in the world of professional acting will be on the Mike Messier YouTube channel. That's what I was working on last night.